Hey up guys, welcome to Blood Bowl 2 Legend Edition and another match in our Champions Ladder for our North Team Men in Trunks. This time we're facing a Goblin Team. So uh, we've managed to start off up to now um, with a perfect record, play 2-1-2. Two, two. So very happy with that. So we're facing Goblins um, who uh, do get a uh, considerable amount of cash to spend so they get themselves a few extra inducements um, at the start get themselves the um, extra fanatic with the money they've earned I think they also get a number of bribes uh, to use and there's my north side so pretty full health at the moment for our team um, did get some money um, from our last match which um, if we just spin the there we go spin it round see our players uh, I do have a loner in so we did lose um, what well, uh, we do I only have uh, 10 first team players um, we do still have the two berserkers the two wolves so we've got a loan of their uh, linemen uh, so we do need to get a few more players uh, we've got two re-team re-rolls I think I've got myself an apple uh, with the money rather than buying another player um, and uh, you see my opponent has got the chainsaw, two fanatics. He's also got three goblins on the bench. So this is going to be a very difficult game. We've only having the 11 players. Um, it's our kickoff event. Um, my opponent's defend, uh, attacking. We managed to get a blitz with that. So just watch the first turn unfold. Here's the runner that I put the mighty blow on. So we've gone uh, with Blitz with my Yeti there on one of his trolls. We're keeping a number of players back. Uh, see where the ball goes. The ball lands on his fanatic star player, um, Fungus. And bounces behind. Chainsaw uh, has no result there. Tried to not kill one of my players. And it's his first goal now with the fanatic. Gets a free die block in there with one of his trolls. His fanatic also gets a knockdown. Goes in to pick the ball up and succeeds with that. Forms a cage and, and throws in a foul. First dodge fails there for the goblins. Gets a stun and there's a turnover. Uh, but a good first turn for him there. I think that was a misclick. <laughs> I don't think I meant to do that for my uh, second turn. So um, I certainly didn't mean to dodge in past the, um, the goblin there. And um, we lose one of our linemen as a result of that. Uh, so minus one agility for him. I 
and Brandon dies. Uh, so I use my apple. I managed to resurrect Brandon, uh, get him back onto the subs bench. So that's a good result for us. All my players here are getting bashed about. Um, his fanatics are getting some really good results. Um, so it doesn't happen with my goblin side. So it tends to swing and miss quite a lot. At this point, I was hoping that I'd have at least uh, injured one of his goblins and made a dint into his side in respect of the amount of substitutes he has. He does get a sending off here though and uses the bribe for one of his fouls. Runner goes in. His first blitz with his mighty blow. <laughs> Try and dodge out there with my berserker. Um, Get away from this fanatic more than anything. So I try to apply a bit of pressure around the ball now. Uh, he has still got his chainsaw and his two fanatics. So there's plenty of damage output of, uh, along with the trolls in this team. So he's moving his uh, ball and chain about now. Chainsaw goes for one of my wolves, manages to get stunned there. A blitz on the line and he re-rolls that, he succeeds with the loner re-roll. Manages to get a knockdown. Again dodges out, goes for a foul, he's on the wolf. And George is dead. Uh, so George will have to get resurrected. Uh, we we'll have to create a new player. Uh, so we do lose him. We've used the app hole. So we're getting absolutely obliterated at this moment in time. Again, they use the uh, mighty blow guy. No result this time. I don't want to use me uh, reroll there. And we managed to get a knockdown there on Fungus. So his star player goes out. We managed to get rid of one of the Fanatics. Survive a punch from one of the trolls there. The stunty works. And he's gonna go for another foul. This time on the Yeti. Picks up a stun with that. Nowhere sending off. So we'll go into my um, turn four here. Again, no result on the blitz, but we do have frenzy. 
Um, and again, the one die, no, uh, we do require the reroll there. Gives us an opportunity to have, to have a go at his chainsaw. We're getting down. Can we injure him? No. But we do K him. KO the chainsaw. So he's out. So it's one less threat removed from the goblin team. Still got five turns to score here. Uh, and we have lost a, a majority of our team. He actually pushes his own goblin back there. So he's a bit fortunate with the rolls. And again, the troll manages to uh, hit the player. Only a stun. And a further foul on Mayetti. Who's KO'd. Gone for a bit of a level here on one of his goblins. I'm getting a bit fed up. Uh, no results from that. And we try and dodge away. Uh, we are down to zero rerolls now. Um, good opportunity for my opponent here to actually surf me uh, lineman up there as well. I've got a number of players still on the deck. I think that's one of his first really stupids there. So it does block my lineman, um, but there's no, there's no surf on because he does knock him down. He's going to go for a foul. He doesn't manage to dodge out. It's on one of our blitzers, one of our berserkers. And it's a stun. After the first two games, we're not picking up the kind of results that uh, I'd have liked uh, on the injuries. Uh, well, it does happen. I mean, my opponent's getting the majority of the injuries here. Um, He's just trolled it up by himself, fails to move, fails the uh, really stupid roll. He uses his final re-roll there. A runner gets stunned. Goblin moves up now, um, moving scarring range. Fails his one die, but he does survive. So I'm not getting surfed. There was a few other things in that turn I could have done. Um, I would have done differently. So it's, his, it's turn eight now. So he's going to run this in. 
He's just trying to injure a number of players before he does that. He has no re-roll, so it is a dangerous move. But he does manage to get the surf. And it's a KO. Again, the foul could have worked against him and he might not have scored there. Uh, he probably has got some bribes left. But fair play, my opponent uh, did destroy me in that half. We'll have a look at the uh, injuries and KOs. So there's only one there uh, injury there for the Goblins. One of the KOs comes back too injured for myself and three knocked out thankfully now though the um i do get a turn so he's got to decide whether he's going to keep who he's going to keep out of his special weapons uh it also gives me a ch another chance to get some of my ko's back So at the minute we're only fielding six players, uh, but we have got a possibility of getting nine. We have suffered um, a death as well to one of our wolves, which is disappointing, and the loan I'm not too fussed about. He's moved all his players back. actually gain a turn here um, it's just flipped the view again again we don't succeed in doing anything there on his goblin get all these players down I'm not so sure why um, I've not tried to move up into scoring position um, I do fail to pick up but I could have had a player up here and an opportunity of scoring on the final turn And there we go. Troll is down. Does he come back? No. So we get managed to get one of the trolls out with my mighty blow. Um, Dauntless runner. Pick the ball up. So there was a small opportunity of getting the score there uh, at the end of the half, which I didn't take. But I did remove a troll. Uh, so it was a fair trade. Let's see if we get some of our players back for the second half. So we don't get the uh, Yeti and we also don't get one of the linemen back. I think he uses his final bribe there to keep in his fanatic. So we are up to seven players now.
but we are three players down. So we're still up against it here to get something out of this match. We have lost the Wolf as well, uh, but we have picked up a few star player points again on um, my runner. Ball goes out. So we're seven versus nine now. We have got a blitz. We've both got uh, an extra re-roll. No result there from the, the blitz. Again, uh, on his fanatic. His troll fails to move. He's moving some of his goblins in now, though, uh, to have a blitz on the ball carrier. Still throwing the fouls in. And uh, we're down to six again. But my opponent also loses a player, but finally gets another sent off. Uh, he's been throwing a foul in pretty much every turn. Managed to free the ball carrier away from his fanatic there. Mark the troll. Go for the dodge. Um, his troll is really stupid. We failed the GFI, so we have to use another reroll. But we've got the we've got the berserker away there with the ball. Again, he has to re-roll with his fanatic. Runner's getting bashed about a bit here. used his rear all that turn so I'm safe now for the moment with the ball using his dodge and his stunter to great effect goes for another uh, foul And it picks up an injury there on the on, on, on minus movement on the runner. Um, big loss for me that because the runner was picking up a lot of injuries 
um, picking up points really quickly in the first three matches. So we've lost a couple of key players now in this match. We do manage to dodge away from the troll and the fanatic. I'm trying to hand it off to the wolf there. I know he's agility too. But I wanted the ball in, uh, with my strength player. I wanted to get some points on him if I possibly could. The next match up. Goes for the pick up, fails that. We go for a, a re roll there. Not getting much luck. Um, Spets of re rolls um, it, with, with blocks, so I use my re roll. Then go for a GFI, fail that. We're running out of turns here and options um, to try and get the ball off the goblins, stop them scoring again. opponent decides he's going to farm up a cage now to try and protect the ball so it's one of the first turns now without a foul being thrown in does manage to get KO can get some players in and around his cage. You can't get away from the fanatic. And he goes for a blitz there, and it backfires on him. Doesn't get the result. 
means that I can get a natural um, hit on the ball carrier now. And that's the result we wanted. So the ball carrier loses possession, gets injured. We'll see where the ball scatters to. Ball scatters behind his line. So a good result there. And then we get the pal. Berserker, can he pick the ball up? Yes, he can. So we managed to steal the ball. I uh, really didn't think that was going to happen. The opponent's also down now to um, zero re-rolls. So he needs all these dodges to work for him. And there we go, he fails on the final one. our final turn can we manage to get the score we get a KO can we run it in yes we can passes the dodge gets a score on our final turn Brad the Panther gets his first touchdown one of many Certainly not my best game, but I've managed somehow to get a result from it. We've lost uh, a couple of important players here in this matchup. Uh, one being the wolf, one being the runner. He loses his fanatic, so he's got one turn left. Um, so we're just putting players now into a position just in case we get a blitz or we gain a turn from the kickoff event. He can still throw a goblin as well, so there's a possibility he can get the ball to his goblin. Troll throws him and is in for the score. Can he pick the ball up? No. He fails. So that's end of the game. Um, we get the star player points on our loner. <laughs> Isn't that always the case? So uh, managed to get a one all. Uh, so we're still unbeaten in the champions ladder. Um, have a look at the stats. See the KO was pretty similar. Uh, injuries inflicted there. Um, R zero, but he did get a lot of injuries from his fouling um, and the kill also. And so you can see the total casualties sustained there for KO sustained four death one. Um, we did manage to get a few of his players out. We didn't injure them as I'd have liked. I'd have liked a bit of payback there, but we didn't quite get that. So we'll go to the star player points. We still picked up a number of um, decent points in that match. Although uh, Ronin, who got four, is now a minus movement runner which isn't the best thing and um, the beer drinker guy is the loner so again that's a waste and we'll have a look at the di uh, dice rolls so here's my opponent's dice rolls as you can see tons of dodges uh, go into those totals um, good results there and he's really stupid um, also good results on his dodges, 27 successes to 7 failures. Uh, so he did have 
uh, a really good game there. Um, Chainsaw was also good. Um, bribes also worked for him 100%. So you can see that it, as, as goblins, he did get quite a lot of good rolls there. Well, fair play to him. Uh, we'll have a look at mine. So you can see the dice rolls. Uh, going for it wasn't very good. Uh, again, dodges again, not brilliant. Uh, we did manage 100% on passes and 100% on Dartless. <laughs> so we did, we did manage a few things there. Um, we'll look at the type of dice. So there we go, we'll have a look at the dice types there. As you can see, not as many um, blocks as are the light there, not as many powers as are the light. Uh, against the goblin team and we'll look at me opponents dice rolls uh, so there you go uh, we'll go to the team now and we can have a look at what state the team's in uh, before we end the video so that's our results our stats 2 at 1 0 we're still in the game we're still in the hunt on the champions ladder uh, we've got 20k in the bank team values 9 50 at the moment uh, we have two team rerolls one apothecary uh, so we have a missed player out at the bottom who's injured through the minus movement for the next match we do we are minus a wolf and we have got two for 10 players so we are gonna be um, using a loner again um, journeyman in the the next match up so hopefully we can get a result from that not lose too many of the players or the important players look at getting a wolf back uh, maybe have to keep uh, Ronin for now uh, with the minus movement uh, he is the, the only player that has got mighty blow at the moment um, maybe we can do with levelling up um the berserkers and the wolf and hopefully the yeti in the next few games if we can we've got a number of linemen there that are intact uh minus and jealousy i'm not too bothered about we can stick them on the line and the throw is a couple points also from leveling up so it'll be nice to give him uh get him sure hands if we can so there you go guys i uh, hope you enjoyed the video Please leave us a like and dislike. Please subscribe if you've watched the videos and you're enjoying the content. Uh, give myself a little bit of support there on the channel. And take care. Bye for now.